This is Coach Green, your basketball scoring coach. In this video, I want to specifically talk about how to improve your pick and roll reads. Let's tap in. Being a decision maker in the pick and roll, you have to know how to negotiate the ball screens. So as he's coming off this ball screen, let's watch what decision he makes. Coming off the ball screen, okay, kick out, all right. Now we're just moving the ball around, about to come off another ball screen. Okay, no shot, we don't get nothing there. Now we're into a second ball screen, and then we end up with a turnover. So let's go back and watch this. So when you're coming off a ball screen, you're reading the second line, second line, third line of defense. We're not worried about the first line. First line is the guy that's guarding you. So as he's coming off this pick and roll right here, immediately the ball should have been given up because this guy is not in the paint so he doesn't have a foot in the paint so he can't really help even if he were to come over after he made this pass this guy is too small so now give it to him go allow him to make the decision because if he over helps we just kick it to a corner for a wide open three but instead we don't make the right read and then guess what happens that leads to a bad possession so we had a good quality advantage. Now we end up in this possession and we end up with nothing. This is how we could burn possessions. And we don't wanna do that when we are decision makers. We have to make the right decisions as the lead guard, as the primary ball handler. So you know, you have a lot of players like, coach, why, why don't my coach put me in ball screens? Why don't my coach trust me? Well, situations like this. So we come off a ball screen and we put our big under the basket. That should never happen. Now we don't have a quality shot. Let's go back, let's watch it from the top. He's coming off this handoff, boom, ball screen. The big makes a wise decision. He slips it because he feels that his guy that's guarding him is gonna show hard on his ball screen. Okay, well, perfect. Now we should have gave the ball up. That ball should already been leading the big to the rim. This is an easy dunk. Why? Because your second, your uh, third line of defense is pretty much at the free throw line or above. You throw it to the rim, all oh, this real estate right here, this is an easy dunk. But instead, we hold on to the ball. So that tells me the ball handler has a hard time processing information quickly. It's no different than being a quarterback and reading through your multiple levels. First progression, second progression, third progression. The main ball handler, decision maker, has to make quick reads when they're being put in the ball screen. When you're coming off of ball screens, you have to use your eyes to manipulate the defense. So as he's coming off this ball screen, again, he has to negotiate. He makes an invalid pass, right? As we go back and rewind it from the beginning, he's coming off this ball screen, bang. Okay, cool, his guy goes under. All right, perfect, that's fine. Let's keep going. Rescreen. Okay, now they're trying to make a decision. They don't know what they're going to do. You pretty much got two guys looking at the ball handling. All right, perfect. Let's keep going. Boom, right here. That should have been a left hand pocket pass to the big. The big now reads this guy. This guy can't, one person can't guard two. We know that. So that's easy math. Give it to the big. The big could go dunk on this guy, or he could throw it up to the guy that's on the bottom. But instead, we make an invalid decision, which leads to a turnover. This is why most guards do not get put in ball screens because they're not great decision makers. The benefit of being put in ball screens, you're looking for an advantage. In ball screens, nine out of 10 give you an advantage. Now it's up to the decision maker to make the right read, right? So in this clip, we can easily see he just made the wrong decision. Why you say that coach? Well, cause when he's coming off this initial ball screen, right here, you got the big second line of defense showing, right? Once he shows, boom, that could have been an easy pocket pass right here. Now you got this guy in the corner. Now it's a two on one against this guy, but cool, we don't use it. All right, perfect, let's rescreen. Bang, we get the rescreen, boom. This big makes an excellent decision, turning his head to the ball, opens up, turns his hips quickly. But again, if we throw it to him now, now we got a three on two. This guy is in the paint, so he's committed. So if we throw it to the big, 
This big can now make a decision. He has a diagonal pass right here to a shooter in the corner, or he just go just punish this small guy who's a guard, right? But instead, we throw it to the opposite corner where this is an easy closeout. So as a ball handler, you're never concerned with the first line of defense, which is the guy that's guarding you. That's easy work, right? You have to know how to put the first line of defense in a position where you always have it the advantage and you don't have to worry about it. It's obvious that this ball handler is getting sped up. Why you say that coach? Because when he comes off to this ball screen, he has the clear advantage, which is perfect, bang. Now at this point, he has to put the first line of defense in jail. What do you mean coach? Right here, cut off his line. He can't help. If you, could dribble, if you dribble over and you put him on your backside, now you don't have to worry about him no more. Now your eyes are on him, the tag, and this guy. Okay, now, so we come off of this screen. You see what happens. He doesn't put him in jail. Now you got the big that's able to show and get back to his guy. That should never happen, right? See how he, the big goes back? Now he jumps in the air. This guy's right here um, that's playing defense is in, perfect situ in a perfect situation to get back to his man. And guess what happens? It just leads to a bad decision, turnover. So as a ball handler, in the ball screen, you have to know how to negotiate the ball screen and you have to know how to occupy the first line of defense so you can read the second and third line of defense. As a lead guard or decision maker, you have to communicate to your bigs, right? If you don't communicate to the guy that's setting the screen for you, then it's nine out of 10, it's going to lead to a bad decision and a bad possession. So as we go back and rewind this from the top, okay, he's going to come off this ball screen here. Okay, boom, right here. That should have been communicated. Whenever you get a hard hedge, big man, screener, turn around, open up. So I give you the ball. And now at this point, if he were to open up, like right now would have turned his head, we could have gave the ball to him. And now we have a three on two. Because the tag guy, this guy, this third line, is already in the paint. He's fully committed. You did your job as a ball handler. When you draw two, you did your job. Now get the ball off your hands and give it to the next decision maker, which is the ball screen guy. But instead, we keep it too long. This guy who's guarding the, the screen, now he's able to get back to the guy that, that set the ball screen. That's a bad job of negotiating the ball screen. So the lesson in this video is a couple things. One, you have to occupy the first line of defense. That's the, the, that's the guy you're not worried about. Second thing is you have to communicate to your screener, right? Having great communication with the screener leads to easy decisions. The third thing that we have to make sure that we do we have to make quick reads. We can't hold on the ball forever. Once we do our job and gain the advantage, we have to get rid of the ball, right? Either we get rid of it or we go score it. We can't hold on too long and then we end up with a poor possession because when we do that, guess what happens? The coach is not gonna trust us and he's no longer gonna put you in a ball screen action. I'm Coach Green, your basketball scoring coach. Thank you again for tapping into this video. Do me a favor, click that like button, click that subscribe button, comment below and let me know what you thought about this video.